Dear Benedict, I just wanted to write you this letter to send you my address. I'm still waiting on my check. And The Hobbit and Star Trek did pretty well, so I'm guessing you got the cash, Benedict. So tell you what, you send me a money order with my reparations, and I'll send you an invitation for a family reunion. We can hold it on the Cleland Place in Barbados. It will be like coming home. Well, at least the house for you and the field for me, but those are just details we can work out later. Your side and the family and mine can finally catch up. We can chat about how racist it is that Matthew McConaughey won the Oscar instead of 12 years a slave, or wait, maybe that's kind of an awkward topic for conversation given the circumstances and all. Because my grandmother was a Cumberbatch too, Benedict. Oh, how can that be when she didn't look Scottish? Well, you see that ish went down like this. My great, 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 great grandmother was snatched from Africa and bought by your great, 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 great grandfather to cut the sugar cane. And he gave her his name. So it's kind of like we're relations. Ben? <laughs> can I call you Ben, cousin? Or is that too close, too quick? Maybe you just need a little time to adjust to the darker side of the clique. But look on the bright side, Ben. If someone ever calls you racist, you can say, I can't be. Half of my family is black. You see, we've got your back now, cousin. A whole new Cumberbatch of black relations, and you can meet us all because we all could use some reparations, so we're cheering you on to success. Nobody wants you to have those blockbuster hits more than us. I heard your mom was scared that we'd come through to cuss, but we're not trying to make you bankrupt. I'm just saying a cut of that trust fund could make our lives improve, cousin. And uh, maybe we're like a dozen times removed, but it's kind of weird for me, too. I'm dealing with some issues, too. I mean, I should be blood with someone like Chiwetel Ejiofor, and I can't even pronounce his name. But every time I see those credits roll, there's my family name on screen, and I want to be proud. But that's some confusing shit to process. So I'm just <laughs> trying to announce that I'm dealing with some heavy feelings, too. You know they say family over every, so let's get together and start talking to mouth. But I know this is kind of awkward for you. This is where people started booing. Because you know you're probably not all Caucasian, right? And your hair's looking kind of wavy there, Benedict. <laughs> Might be a touch of the slave there is all I'm saying. Maybe your great, 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 great grandfather stuck his Benedict into one of my ancestors, <laughs> and now some fraction of you is African too. Oh, don't worry. I'm not trying to put your career down to affirmative action or anything. You can still be an actor who happens to be black and not a black actor. I know you just want to be appreciated for your talent, so we don't have to get into identity politics, Benedict. Nobody will say you only got on the most beautiful people list because they needed some diversity. And if some of your fangirls act a little less thirsty because, ew, they don't do black guys, well, at least now there'll be rumors that you have a huge Benedict. <laughs> Probably won't be as much fan fiction and stuff written about you because it's kind of hard for people to acknowledge us as human, but at least you got to enjoy like 400 years of white privilege before you had to encounter this shit. <laughs> and I'm not saying it's your fault, Benedict. I know your hand never held a whip, but I can't help but notice that you attended Harrow. Tuition costs 33,000 pounds a year. Wow, that's kind of a lot, Benedict. And my wallet is looking kind of narrow. How many pounds of cane did my ancestors cut and lift to build that account? So don't we deserve our portion of the spoils just a little bit? You have to admit, you did benefit from the extortion of our labor, so it's only fair to give us your share, our share of your fortune. P.S. This is dead true. My family stole some of your family's shit when we rampaged through the big house after we chased you out. So if you need any monogrammed silver knives to make up the set, I can get you that, Benedict. <laughs> There's a big C on the handle so we never forget. We bring them out on fancy occasions. We're just waiting for you to send us our compensation. Let's make it easy and say a million a point. I'm not greedy. I can take payment by wire transfer, direct deposit, or cash in hand. So let's balance my bank statement. Then we'll really have a celebration. So Benedict, it's all on you. I know you can come through. Give me my reparations. Signed, L. Jones. Descendant of Zilla Cumberbatch, emancipated from slavery now for five generations. Uh -huh.